Okay, our first little step here is to do our draw-in. Now, if you've traced this, then it's not that big of a deal because you can just go over what's there. If you're going to do this freehand, um, just start on your drawing. And I'm going to probably, if you were drawing it freehand, I would probably get my... Um, sunflower placed in here so I'm gonna this is a real light mix of of um, a lizard crimson and the ultramarine blue with a just a teeny little smudge of um, yellow ochre in it just to kind of dull it down just a little bit I'm trying to get kind of a dark muddy charcoal purpley color so and this is going to be a thin mix you don't want this paint real thick because this is just your little draw in our little center there and this is this is pretty dark here so I'm going to um, draw that in there I'm not going to be too picky about these leaves or petals Kind of get them in there. Um, I'm going real lightly over these. Just to kind of give me an idea where they're at. In case I go over them with the background color. There's well, quite a bit of white showing through here on these. So, um, And again, if you're freehanding it, just go for it. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It's more of just a little, you know where you're going with the petals. Then I'm gonna put the, the stem in here. Now he's, the stem is kind of a, uh, these stems and leaves are, um, oh, uh, I'll put those in here. Again, really lightly, I'm just going to put that leaf in there. There's a little leaf right here. It kind of gets mixed up with the petals. Okay, that's kind of my road map. I know where I'm going now. Now I'm going to do a rough in. I'm going to use the really dark color here and put, fill most of my background um, with this darker uh, color. And I am going to change the background color just a little bit up here at the top. I'm going to put a little bit of blue in there and lighten it up. But for now I'm going to fill in this background with this dark purple color and don't let it worry you because <laughs> we'll be painting over it. This is just an undercolor. This will help your background be once you get your green on there it'll like darken it to a really dark luscious green color. So we've got dark little bit down here, a little bit in here, some over here. My drawing just sort of let me know where the darks will go in here. Oh, there's some I forgot. You can kind of see already where those leaves are where everything's kind of popping out there. And let's see here. Looks like our light is coming from this direction, like from, from see this would be left to right. And I'm gonna darken this up in here just a little bit. Um, And I'll probably it got this too high here. I don't want this as high, so I'm going to block some of this out just a little bit with some white. 
kind of lower that down just a little bit here. Because I kind of want my horizon line going catty corner across the page there. But, okay. And now I'm going to do in the rough in the blue. I'm just going to get some of my little bit of my ultramarine blue. Mix it with some white. And I'm going to block in or rough in my sky. Now this isn't the only layer that's going to go on this sky here. So just I'm just getting a road map to where I'm going. Um, I want it darker over here and lighter over here, so I'm going to get white in it as I go over here. Now it's going to mix in with the purple, which I don't want it to, so we'll let that dry, and then I'll probably go back over that with some more blue here pretty soon. Um, yeah, we'll do that later. Now our leaves, we're going to block them in with a, we're going to mix in just a little bit of the ultramarine blue and a little bit of the ultramarine blue and yellow ochre. That's going to give you green. Now this is going to be kind of an ugly green dark color. And I'll put a little bit more white into that. Um, we're going to change this a little bit to get it a little brighter, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to rough in my leaves here. And this is just going to be a, a dark color under here. I know it's not a very pretty green, but we'll change that later. We've got a leaf here. And a leaf here. There's a stem working here. There's a little bit of a green leaf that's here. I'm going to switch to looking at my original black and white instead of this one. one popped up here on my computer. That way I can see better where these leaves are. Okay, there's this little guy here. And again, this is just a block in, um, a rough in of where we're going. There's a little stem here, there's a leaf here. Uh, down here. Now this does two things. It um, it's just a road map to kind of show you where you're going. Another thing it's doing is it's getting rid of all these little white spots. And there's a leaf here in the background too. So we'll let's see here. Um, stem there. Okay, now that I sort of got my leaves roughed in there, I will get some of this dark. And I'm going to, and I'm looking at my black and white painting now um, to kind of tell where there's some dark back in here. Getting some of my dark values in there again. Um, Getting rid of my little white spots and speckles that are on this canvas. Um, there. There's some purple in here or dark. Dark in there. Okay, 
try to get all your little white spots covered with this block in layer. Sometimes you can pick it up in the next go over, but it's you can get those that white covered up on that canvas. It won't be showing through on your final um, piece of work. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making sure maybe use a little of my green and a little bit of my purple. And just make sure that all those little white spots are gone. But you can kind of tell already, we our little sunflower is there, our little background. Okay, now I'm going to mix up a little bit of or some yellow ochre. And this is going to be for our petals. And this is just going to be a rough end. I don't want it quite this bright, so I'm just take a little bit of dab of the purple color that I mixed up, the alizarin crimson and the red, and kind of tone that uh, yellow ochre down to about a shade or two uh, darker so that it's not such a bright yellow color. I'm going to show you that's this is the darker color, and then this is the lighter color. So that's about your difference you want. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm kind of getting a little more fussy with these petals because I don't want so much of an impressionistic look on them. I want um, so you need to find a smaller brush and see if we've got one here. Well, I'm going to use this one just, and I'm going to put these petals in here. Now I'm doing this with just a light bit of paint here. And that one is, let's see, that one's just a little one there. And again, this is just an undercover, underpainting, so... But you want this darker colors underneath because it will show through on um, even though you can't see it, it blocks the light in the back and it'll make your painting look more three dimensional. And And if you want to, you can block this in and then um, kind of take your tracing paper and go back over it again if you want to, if you lose your petals. Or you can just kind of freehand your petals in. That's probably what I'm going to do is just look at the original and kind of freehand these petals in. There's some little petals that are foreshortened. Okay, and I'm trying to come in here and get rid of some of this white that's peeking through here with this darker color. Oops. Now I'm going to get, again, my purple color, the dark, the alizarin crimson, and the blue. Put just a tiny bit of yellow in it to dull that down again. And I'm going to come in here. Oops, that's too red. In here and put... Fill in some of this dark around these petals. And 
And then I'm going to make a brown. And to make a brown, I'm going to get my alizarin crimson and some yellow, yellow ochre, and mix that together to make sort of a burnt sienna. And I'm going to take a little bit of my purple, or maybe a whole bunch of the purple, or some purple and mix that together and you're going to get a brown so let's see we've got darker brown in here in the middle and then add a little white to it and get a lighter brown and do rough in your center I'm going to kind of go over this a little bit again and, and make sure all my little white spots on this canvas are, are filled in. Um, and put this, let this dry here and put this sky back in down into here. And mix that in. It's okay. I want we. I'm getting some of that background color into those petals. That's okay because we'll be going over those petals again. I just want to make sure all the white is is gone in between those petals. I'm going to go over and darken this up a little bit, the background. Now it turned. There we go. Okay. That's kind of... I'm just going to put a little bit more dark down into here, and that's really dark. <laughs> Okay, most of my little white white spots are covered up. There's still some in there. But I got into the wrong color there. Okay, all my little, most of my little white spots are gone. Now we'll have to, this one too straight. And we'll come back on our next little go over and we'll put all the detail in. And we'll see you in a little while.